Greetings to and hello freshman students from BSEMP. We welcome you all to Dinsu MLUC where there is wisdom to serve. I also welcome you to my YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to have an orientation about our subject which is science, technology and society. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Being part of DIMSU, you must know the philosophy, vision, and mission as well as the goal of the university. So for the philosophy, total human development with appropriate competencies. Vision, a globally competitive university. Mission, provide high quality instruction, research, and extension. Goal, to lead in transforming human resources the productive self-reliant citizens and responsible leaders. Let us move on to the course title and description. For the course title, GECC 105 or also known as Science, Technology and Society. For the course description, a three-unit course deals with the interaction between science and technology and social, cultural, political, and economic contexts that shape and are shaped by them. This is based from the CMO number 20 series of 2013. This is also an interdisciplinary course engaging students to confront the realities brought about by science and technology in society. Such realities pervade and personal the public and a global aspect of our living and are integral to human development. Scientific knowledge and technological development happen in the context of society with all its socio-political, cultural, economic, and philosophical understanding that it interplays. This course includes mandatory topics on climate change and environmental awareness. And for the content standard, upon completion of the course, the students will be able to do the following. First, we have knowledge, particularly the impacts of science and technology on society, specifically Philippine society. Explain how science and technology affect society and the environment and its role in nation building. Third, analyze the human condition in order to deeply detect and express philosophical ramifications that are meaningful to the students as part of the society. Fourth, define and demonstrate the impact of social media on the student's life and Philippine society in general. We also offer the values, imbibe the importance of science and technology in the preservation of the environment and development of the Filipino nation. Second, we take human flourish vis-a-vis -vis the, pro the progress of science and technology such that the students may be able to define for himself or herself the meaning of good life. Third, foster the values of healthy lifestyle towards the holistic and sustainable development of society and the environment. And for the skills, first, creatively present the importance and contributions of science and technology to society. Second, examine shared concerns that make up the good life in order to come up with innovative and creative solutions to contemporary issues guided by the ethical standards. Third, illustrate how social media and information age impact their lives and their understanding of climate change. And these are your class schedules for the BSE MTA to BSE MTC. We have two schedules, the regular schedules and the pandemic schedules. So you may just check this out. Uh, if ever, whenever you have already your assessment and if there are corrections please let me know and now this is for the BSCMT section D to section F these are your schedules 
So, same as through with what I've said a while ago. If there are corrections, please let me know. And then we also have our class meeting. Since we meet three, three hours a week or three times a week, then therefore I've divided this one for especially for the pandemic situations that we have. So for the first meeting or first hour, for my activity as your teacher, I'll be giving the module activities, online schedules and announcements and the like. And of course, you as a student, you have to pass the activities one week after the giving of the activity and then you have to download this or download the modules or this is actually available to your chairperson and of course there will be module monitoring and for the second meeting for of course my role is class monitoring so i'll be checking you our gc i'll be creating one and this will be for consultation by fb messenger or group message so what you have to do is you may ask questions there if there are topics or lessons that you didn't understand you can just ask it there and then of course you can also do some debate and recitation as part of your class standing and for the third meeting there will be giving up activities that are embedded in your modules and online quizzes with the use of the DepEd common and therefore it is necessary for you to download now the DepEd common for online quizzes and of course you also have your grading system for the midterm total grade this is now equivalent to our class standing which is equivalent to 60% plus our midterm exam which is also our equivalent to 30% same as with our final total grade we have our class standing that is 60% plus our final examination that is 40% that is a total of 100 and in computing for your final grade this is now equal to your final total grade that is 50% and another 50% from your midterm total grade so if we try to get the average now we can get now your final grade and then I also have your course requirement at a specified deadline the student must be able to comply with the following first you have to secure a copy of science and technology and society module that is available to our chairperson or department chairperson second is we have to create a google mail or dimsu mail for online class and then third we have to download the and common for online quizzes fourth pass in the modular activities fifth pass on quizzes and oral recitation or in our recitation in our group chat and then we also have to pass our midterm and final examinations and then we have to submit compilation of exercise along with our portfolio and then you have also to comply with our projects all right we also have other requirements for the subject requirements we have ball pen or pencil, band paper, copy of module, crayon or all pastel, expanded envelope, and then science notebook. For the science notebook, I'm encouraging you to have the larger one or the bigger size notebook. And then of course, for the outcome based project, this will be choral reading group performance provide them with the course rubrics and investigatory project based outcomes since you are BSE MTN you are more of the technical skills of making or crafting some technologies and now we have the course guide in science and technology so for midterm we have two modules for module one we have the following topics introduction to science and technology historical antecedents in which social consideration changed the course of 
science, and technology. Intellectual revolution that defines society. And for module 2, we have science and technology and nation building. Then we have human flourishing. And lastly, we have technolo technology as a way of revealing. And after which, we'll have your midterm exam. And for the finals, we have module 3. These are the following topics. The good life. When technology and humanity cross and why the future doesn't need us. Third, the information age. Fourth, biodiversity and healthy society. And lastly, we have biotechnology, specifically genetically modified organism. And then we also have your module 4. These are the following topics. The nano world or nanotechnology, gene therapy, climate change, and environmental awareness. And lastly, we have alternative energy resource. And then after that, we'll have your final examination. Of course, you also have our course criteria. I'll be giving it to you in our group chat. And then you have the references. So you may use this as your guide as well. And then you also have electronic sources that can also be found in the internet. Alright, so this is the end of our presentation. But before we end this orientation, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Don't forget also to click the notification bell for more updates. See you in my next class. Goodbye!